Hi friends, our next live session for all of our AI students will be on the coming Sunday, which is the 7th of November at 7 p.m. As usual, this is going to be a two to two and a half hour live session. In this live session, we will actually look at both the architecture and the internal details of data quality and verification systems that are actually built at these three companies, Uber, Netflix and Amazon. To give you a glimpse of what we're going to discuss in this live session, which is all about data quality and verification at these three internet companies. First, you have to understand that a lot of the data that these companies process is actually an internet scale data sets. So whatever data that they have to verify for correctness or they have to ensure is of high quality is typically hundreds of terabytes and very often petabyte scale data sets. Scale itself is a very important aspect of the problem that is at hand. Again, we will discuss actual real solutions and platforms that have been built at these three companies. One is Uber, the other is Amazon and the third one is Netflix, right? We will actually take real examples from these three companies and we know that these are real solutions and platforms that have been built at these companies primarily for data quality and verification. And we know this primarily from their technical blogs. All these three companies have very active technical blogs where they discuss of some of the solutions and platforms they've built. Some of these companies also have published research papers on how they actually solve these problems internally. And they also have open source platforms or open source code bases that they've made available for the general public. Using these three sources primarily for our knowledge, uh, we will try and discuss how these three companies specifically built the data quality and verification systems. Also, please understand that these three companies have slightly differing needs based on what they are doing, right? Uber might have different needs in terms of data quality and verification. Amazon could have slightly different needs, Netflix slightly different. So all of them don't, may need not have the same architecture. So we will also go into the system design or the high level design for each of the systems that these companies have built. And in addition to also understanding the architecture and high level design, we will dive deep into the actual techniques that have been employed by all these three companies. Some of these techniques could be as simple as simple statistical techniques, or it could be core classical machine learning techniques or even deep learning techniques. And many of these companies use distributed computational platforms like Spark. Again, many of these companies also use time series analysis techniques that we have discussed in our course videos to actually detect anomalous behavior in their data quality, primarily to verify the correctness of data and to actually trigger an alarm whenever there is a point of concern. Again, we will try and discuss all three of them in a single live session. In case we are not able to, we can do this in a two part live session, but we want to do it fairly thoroughly specifically focusing on the system design and the nitty gritty technical details going into the mathematical details as much as possible. Again, this live session will be via AirMeet and all of our students will get an invitation via email. You just have to click on the link that is provided to you via email and join. Again, just please make a note of this. This is at 7 p.m. on the coming Sunday, which is the 7th of November. Again, I'm looking forward to this very interesting discussion. Again, a lot of folks don't give sufficient importance to data quality and verification, which is often super duper important because if you don't have clean data and if you're not sure if your data is clean, if you have not verified your data, any machine learning or data science or anything you do downstream is more or less useless or it could, could be very erroneous and you could come, come, you could come up with some very erroneous conclusions even in your simple data analysis. So this is often an overlooked part of data science life cycle, but it is equally important as witnessed by some of these large internet companies spending considerable amount of resources and platforms actually performing data analysis and verification. So we'll understand these solutions. Again, for this, if you know these techniques, if you know statistics, if you know machine learning techniques, a few deep learning techniques, time series analysis and Spark, you can easily understand most of these techniques. Fairly simple to understand if you have the foundations right.